Welcome to Goodnight Robin, your someone to say goodnight to. I'm your host, Robin Rice. Tonight's episode is sponsored by Dogwood Books and Gifts in Greenwich, Connecticut, a spiritual store reimagined as a community of artists, seekers, readers, thinkers, and friends gathered around books, coffee, and thoughtful gifts for thoughtful people. Follow Dogwood at Dogwood Books and Gifts on Instagram or find them online at dogwoodbooksandgifts.com. As always, the link is in our show notes. Today was really cool. I saw something that was amazing, something that I wish I had done. And that is, there is a poetry pharmacy in the UK, and the poet, the resident poet, prescribes verse poetry instead of pills. And I thought, man, that's up my alley. I like what David White, again, you know, probably by now, if you listen for long, that David White's one of my favorite poets, if not the favorite. He talks about the fact that we we can't do wrong by having a little poetry a day because you can't read poetry fast. You can't read it without thinking about it. And so this idea that people are ailing, people are ailing everywhere. You know, we, we our culture is a little bit broken right now. It's, it's having some challenges. I, I believe we'll come through it. I really do. But if we were to say, you know what, before you go to a doctor to change your brain, brain chemistry, which by the way, many people need, so not against that at all. But if you were to first see if it was your soul, if it was poetry you needed, and what if there was someone, as there is in this poetry pharmacy, that could listen to you and say, mm, I know exactly what poem you need. You need maybe a little Jean Ballantine, the river wolf. And in that, There's a line, blessed are they who remember that what they now have, they once longed for. Boy, I could listen to that for a long time. That's the core of gratitude for me. But maybe I go into this pharmacy and I say, you know what? I'm just feeling like I don't have enough and I'm, you know, I have a poverty mentality or I just feel like, you know, the universe is jipping me and out comes a little, you know, Jean Ballantine of the River Wolf. Blessed are they who remember that what they now have, they once longed for. And I sit there and I go, yep, yep. And I nod my head and I feel it. And I go, all right, all right, I'm good. Thank you. And I leave with my little bit of verse. What an extraordinary gift. And this this pharmacy is beautiful. It's, you know, you can Google it, man. It's got a lovely, looks like an old time pharmacy, looks a little like a bookstore, but it's really done beautifully. And the sentiment behind it to me is just spectacular. So I wanted to share that with you today. How cool that we can take our passions and make something beautiful and offer it to the world. I'm excited. Thanks for the poetry pharmacy. Those of you, uh, I'll put a link in the show notes so that you can go find it. Man, what a great idea. That's the show for tonight. I'm so glad you're with me. Love to you, my friend. Good night.